as a fresh graduate, you find yourself in the prime of your life. Young, beautiful, and now a full-fledged member of the intellectual elite of Philippine society. You will never be as young, as beautiful, or as intellectually stimulated as you are today. Therefore, grab life, grab it with both hands, change the world, but first, change yourself. <laughs> to help you in your life's journey, although suffering from chronic fatigue syndrome, I brought nearly two hours to share with you, as my fellow UP alumni, the lessons I've learned from life. Today, you feel immortal, para bang kaya mong lahat. At hindi mo nang iniisip ang buhay, dahil masagana ang buhay para sa inyo, sa edad din niyan. You cannot admit the possibility of any accident, or calamity, or tragedy that might mar your life. You cannot possibly contemplate an end to your life, or to the lives of those whom you love. But I assure you, the devil never sleeps, and evil lurks on the way. And I promise you, middle age will come, and then old age will beckon. By that time, I will no longer be with you. So let me tell you about the lessons of life that life has taught me. For the sake of brevity, I will focus on two points, putting a life in a developing society and the moral life in an extremely limited lifetime. The political sphere, no doubt the Philippines suffers from an endemic culture of corruption. The problem is that the crooks have made a mockery of our constitution. May salikang batas nga, wala namang sumusunod. At ang pinakauna pang maglabang ng batas ay ang mismong mga leader natin sa Kongreso, sa Senado, sa House of Representatives, maski kung minsan sa Kabinet. Yun ang problema ng ating bansa. At kayo nga UP graduate, you know very well that you have a moral obligation to this society that has been so good to you to make sure that you leave your footprints in the sands of our time. The problem is that the crooks have made a mockery of our Constitution. As a basic law, the Constitution is supreme in the sense that any law or behavior that contradicts a constitutional provision should be declared not only void but also punishable as a crime. And corruption is the great evil of our time because it threatens the core democratic values of representation and of deliberation. I will take an approach to corruption that can be summarized in trilogy of principal, agent, and client. Thus, corruption is a result of wrong interaction among top officials, functionaries, and members of the public. I trust that you be graduate after four years of the most rigorous educational discipline in this country will be able to exercise the famous UP student's power of analysis to see through the machinations of the groups in government. Kaya kayo niya nga alin, dahil talagang abnormal kayo. Mas mataas kayo sa normal, kaya abnormal din kayo. Yung makalaban ko nga sa abnormal yun. If there is a crime, there should be a punishment. Not close your eyes to the problem of corruption on the ground that no society will completely free of corruption. Yun ang sabi ng iba. Eh, corruption, maski saan sa mundo, talagang meron yun. Kaya, anong pinakagalit ko? Kasi palagi akong galit eh. <laughs> it is true that corruption is almost as old as the concept of government itself. But today, we, we take a different focus. We demand that government should be accountable and that political processes should be honest. 